Number 8. Military Bases in Antarctica During World War II, rumors swirled around about the existence of a secret Nazi base in Antarctica. During the Nuremberg trials held in Germany to bring Nazi war criminals to justice, evidence emerged that there was a possible base in Antarctica. When the naval admiral, who eventually became the president of Germany, spoke about the existence of what he described as an invulnerable fortress in the middle of eternal ice. But is it possible that not only was there a secret Nazi military base, but that it housed secret UFO technology? In the 1950s, when UFO sightings were at their height, gossip circulated that Germans had created powerful super weapons that were developed and tested during the Third Reich. When Germany surrendered in 1945, the technology was supposedly shipped to Antarctica. As more extraterrestrial sightings were reported, they were blamed on a hidden Nazi presence in the remote location. The story of secret underground bunkers in Antarctica came from a real expedition that visited the continent between 1930 and 1939. German operatives explored and mapped the area, uncovering multiple underground caves and rivers. Because one of the caves was particularly large, rumors swirled that the Nazis had built a large city. Somehow, along the way, another story surfaced that said the Germans came across alien technology during these Antarctic expeditions that they studied and used it to build a number of weapons. As later research was done on records, experts found no mention that any base had been established during the expedition in the late 1930s. Because the research team was only off the Antarctic coast for a month, the ability to build the base in that time would have been impossible. Further study found that instead of sending a large-scale expedition with militarized and scientific ships, the Germans actually only sent one small ship in an effort to find new territory where they could expand their whaling industry. Also, because the boat was so small, the crew manning the ship would not have been large enough to carry the supplies needed to build a massive hidden base. It's easy to believe wild theories such as this because of the remote location and hazardous conditions in Antarctica that make it one of the least explored places on Earth. Number 7. Nazi Tunnels for more than two decades, there have been whispers around the Denver International Airport that some unusual architecture and strange murals may hide the truth that the Nazis once had secret bunkers beneath the airport. Ever since the airport was built in 1955, various news reports on media outlets spoke about the theory that the Nazis had planned to launch their New World Order takeover from the Denver Airport. So how did these rumors get started? The first piece of the puzzle comes from the coordinates for the alien landing site in the 1977 film Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Apparently, the coordinates for the alien landing in the film point to the location of the Denver International Airport. In one of the terminals, a plaque dedicated to the Freemasons, along with their unique symbol and unexplained markings, have led some to believe it is a secret language taught to them by an alien race. For decades, the Freemasons have been accused of having a hand in ongoing control over religious, political, and cultural events. Could they have a connection to the rumors of the underground bunkers? And how did those rumors get started? Apparently, beneath the airport's underground baggage transport tunnel, there's a large hidden shelter that even contractors who were working on the original airport saw evidence of. Secret entrances and unexplained tunnels contribute to the belief that they could be hiding something sinister. Another theory that the Nazis had a hand in its construction comes from the design of the runways at the airport. They may look normal to the average observer, but when viewed from above, they look like a swastika, leading people to believe that it was a concealed way of showing that fascism was on the rise in the area. Why would the Nazis make it so obvious and not hide their influence if they really were trying to launch a secret takeover of the United States? People will see what they want to see and believe what they want to believe. Number 6. Roswell, New Mexico The incident in Roswell, New Mexico, the report of a crashed unidentified flying object, is one of the most well-known conspiracy theories around the world. But are there still secrets to the Roswell incident that we don't know about? The original theory is that an alien spacecraft crash-landed in the New Mexico desert. 
A story started to circulate of a downed flying disc after unusual debris was found on a ranch 30 miles north of Roswell. Newspapers quickly picked up the headline that the Royal Air Force had captured a flying saucer on the ranch. In the years that followed, UFO enthusiasts and conspiracy theorists continued to build upon the story, saying an autopsy had been performed on the alien in the mid-1990s. But more theories surrounding the supposed crash circulated during the rise of the Nazis in Germany. During this time, some people believed that the flying object that crashed in New Mexico was part of a project to test Nazi flying machine technology. Could this be because German scientists and doctors were shipped across the Pacific in an operation known as Operation Paperclip, where the US brought German scientists to America to harness their brain power for the Cold War initiative? The original story told by the government officials was that it was a US Air Force balloon that fell to Earth that day. But some believe it was a spaceship hit by lightning that crashed. Two authors who insisted they interviewed more than 90 witnesses after the event believe that it was a government cover-up and that the ship crashed, killing the unknown creatures on board. A retired special agent for the US claimed that aliens landed at Roswell and that inside the ship there were survivors. Other witnesses have come forward to claim that there was a huge battle after the ship crashed between the US Special Forces and the extraterrestrials where 60 troops and local residents were killed in a firefight between aliens. Maybe it's because there is no definitive evidence over what the spacecraft actually was that people continue to theorize about what crash landed in the New Mexico desert so many years ago. What do you think? Do you think it was an alien craft or simply a weather balloon? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button if you haven't already. Number 5. Royal Family Ties to Dracula Could it be possible that the royal family has ties to the fictional vampire Dracula? The Prince of Wales may own several properties in Transylvania, but could he love the area so much because he's related to Vlad the Impaler's bloodline? By following Prince Charles's bloodline, it turns out he is connected to Vlad through his great-grandmother, Queen Mary wife of George V, who was born a German princess. Vlad became the inspiration for Bram Stoker's Dracula. He was known for his cruel treatment by impaling his enemies on stakes in the ground and leaving them to die. In a book titled The British Chronicles, author David Hughes has compiled a family tree that offers four different variants that show how the family blood of Vlad the Impaler was transmitted through two of his sons directly to Prince Charles. A great-great-grandmother of Prince Charles's mother, Queen Elizabeth II, Hungarian Countess Claudia Reddy, was also born and raised in Transylvania in the 19th century. But there is more than just DNA connecting Prince Charles to Dracula. There is a disease known as porphyria or iron deficiency that makes the skin sensitive to light in the same way vampires avoid the sun. The disease is present among many of the royal family, Prince Charles included. Could these facts be why Prince Charles is so fond of Romania? He owns several properties in Transylvania's countryside and even does charity work as well as working to improve their ecological agriculture and conservation of Romanian culture. If you want to see for yourself how Prince Charles has ties to Dracula, you can visit one of his properties in Transylvania in the village of Viscri. With its pastel colored houses and fortified church from the 13th century, the oldest of Transylvania. Number 4. Aliens Built Stonehenge Could one of the most well-known megalithic monuments have been built by aliens? Some people believe that the rocks at Stonehenge were in place millions of years before humans even existed. As archaeologists used new techniques to study the stones that created the ancient site, they performed radiocarbon dating on campfires from millennia ago, helping them to determine that the holes cut into the stones were made centuries before Stonehenge was built. Stonehenge was created in 2900 BC, but the holes in the rocky outcrops where the stones were taken from to build the site dated between 3400 and 3200 BC. Because some of the biggest stones of Stonehenge weighed up to 50 tons, and there are no written records to show how it was built, 
some people believe it had to have been built by an elevated race. Similar to theories about the Egyptian pyramids and the Maori heads at Easter Island, some believe that aliens came to Earth and built the ancient megastructure. People who believe in ancient aliens think that extraterrestrials with superior knowledge of science and engineering shared their expertise with earlier civilizations to help them build architectural wonders, including Stonehenge. Those who believe in this theory think that the stone circle at Stonehenge on the Salisbury Plain was a launching pad for spaceships or maybe even an observatory for extraterrestrial activity in the skies. The wheel hadn't been invented at the time Stonehenge was built, adding to the conspiracy theory. Even if you don't believe aliens helped the Neolithic people of England build the monument, you have to agree that it's a massive feat of construction, one that seems far more advanced than the time period in which it was built. Number 3. The Bet Sphere In 1974, a Florida man found a mysterious sphere, a little smaller than a bowling ball near their home that weighed a solid 22 pounds. It was fate that the Betts family found the sphere, which only appeared after a fire destroyed part of their property. It was originally thought to be a historic cannonball from Florida's Renaissance Spanish colonizer, but the metal sphere was not corroded. It was made from shiny metal or steel, something that did not exist during Spanish colonial times. After studying the sphere more closely, the family noticed something very strange. It started to move on its own, rolling, making noises, and vibrating. The family dog even noticed the bizarre movements. When she sat next to it and it started moving, she would start to whimper and cover her ears with her paws. Theories about the sphere and its strange properties were further suspected to be due to solar radiations, with the family noticing how it moved more intensely when the sun was closer and brighter. As more rumors started to spread about the sphere, the US military decided to analyze it, and the results were surprising. An expert from a research firm determined that he heard radio waves coming from inside the sphere and that it had a magnetic field around it. Could that be the reason why the sphere was able to move on its own? The sphere was sent to an astronomer and ufologist for examination, who determined that it was man-made. Still, the more people who heard about it, the more they believed in the sphere's otherworldly origins. It would take an examination by the US Navy to get a clearer picture. They identified that it was made from steel, comparing it to a stainless steel ball sold by a Jacksonville equipment supply company. In their catalog, the stainless steel ball measured 8 inches across and weighed over 21 pounds, exactly the same size as the bet sphere. Taking a closer look at how the ball was able to move on its own, the simple explanation points to uneven stone floors in the bet's house that allowed it to move or change direction. Still, some wanted to believe it was made by an unknown extraterrestrial race. Even though there was a lot of hype in the 1970s about all things UFO, the sphere was never proven to be alien. But it hasn't been disproven either. Number 2. The HAARP Antenna Could a remote Alaskan facility that houses a high-frequency antenna be to blame for mind control? Scientists have been studying the base because it's home to one of the world's most powerful radio transmitters, which is why some people believe the station could be the culprit behind strange weather phenomena and powerful earthquakes. Known as the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, the HAARP facility is about 250 miles south of Fairbanks, Alaska. Some conspiracy theorists think it could be a secret weapon that controls the weather and takes over the minds of unsuspecting Americans. It's easy to see why people are wary of the facility. It stretches over a massive 33 acres with 180 large antennas. One can't help but be a little suspicious of its purpose. Could it be some sort of death ray that inflicts psychic warfare to make the general public do what they want? Not according to the scientists who work there. It was supposedly built to study the atmosphere by firing high-frequency radio waves where phenomena like the Northern Lights originate. So, why is the facility shrouded in such mystery? Maybe it's the remote location, or the fact that there are so many antennas that allow the facility to influence the natural flow of electricity, maintain satellites, 
and explore the farthest reaches of the globe from one location. Either way, HAARP has decided to share a few details of its powerful arsenal with visitors at an open house. But that doesn't mean they don't have other secrets just waiting to be discovered. Number 1. America Stonehenge With a name like Mystery Hill, it's no wonder there are a lot of theories around the origin of a strange series of stone walls, underground chambers, and rocky structures in Salem, New Hampshire. Nicknamed America Stonehenge, the site is an archaeological wonder that no one knows the origin of. Believed to be about 4,000 years old, the site has become famous for its odd stone arrangements and puzzling cave-like buildings on the 30 acres where it sits, 40 miles north of Boston. Even though it shares the name with England Stonehenge, which is made up of concentric circles of giant megaliths, Mystery Hill is a confusing jumble of smaller stones that don't seem to be in any sort of pattern or design. The place is believed to have been an observatory with some of its structures astronomically aligned to coincide with the summer solstice, which might mean it was an important place of worship to the ancient people who built it. Who those people are, though, remains a mystery to this day. The land where Mystery Hill sits passed through the hands of multiple families before a man named William Goodwin, who had an interest in collecting and studying rare objects, bought the site. Goodwin believed Irish monks who had fled the Vikings and settled in New Hampshire constructed the stone walls and underground chambers on the site. Evidence on some of the stones showed primitive stone hand tools were used to quarry the slabs, and analysis on the stones found humans had occupied the area as far back as 2000 BC. One of the more talked about features is what's known as the sacrificial stone, a massive flat stone. The stone is so large it looks like a massive table, complete with a groove carved directly into the stone that leads to a spout which some believe may have been used to channel blood during ritual sacrifices. Along with the underground chambers, artificial caves, and hidden passages, Mystery Hill sure lives up to its name as it continues to puzzle visitors who wonder about its origins. Native Americans living in the area at the time didn't build stone structures like this, and there were no colonial farmers until the early 1700s. The mystery of its construction and purpose, along with the reason for lying the stones to the stars, may never be solved. Thanks for watching. Which one of these conspiracy theories do you believe? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like these. See you next time. Bye.